that insult to injury. Heaved away, massive blow. The first six of this semi-final. Just wanted you to hear the sound off the bat. So good. Sweetly timed, walking at the bowler, something that she's done. She's got enough on it. Now there's a shout of catch it, but Eccleston up inside the circle. There's no stopping Smitty at the moment. It's the second six, and this is a sparkling start to the Indian innings. So Smitty Mandanan goes the slog sweep instead. Look at that. The skill. Hitting with the spin. Four more. It's a 50 for Smriti off just 23 balls. The fastest we've had in this tournament. She is taking it to England. And now Shafali Verma starting to put the foot down as well. Poor ball from Eccleston. Could it bring a wicket? Catherine Brunt in the deep. Yes, yeah, she has got enough on it. She just sweeps down the pitch, doesn't she? Elegantly with her feet. Gets herself in the right position. She knew as soon as she hit that that it was going all the way. And she hasn't struck this cleanly, should be out. And it's taken Catherine Brunt. England finally break through this opening partnership that's been so damaging. It's taken a little while to get Freya Kemp into the action. The slower deliveries work. Shafali Verma never really found the middle of the bat throughout her innings. She departs for 15, but a great opening partnership of 76 for the first wicket. Should be out. Izzy Wong is there to take the catch. Two wickets in two overs now for England. And Janima Rodrigues. A crucial wicket for England. This is, is not a clever shot given the situation of the game. They've just lost Shafali Verma. Smitty and Mundana needed to stay out there. An excellent innings by Smitty Mundana. She goes for 61, and England are fighting back. 77 for two. Ah! First of all, we've the end to Sophie Eccleston. Immediate review, though. Yep, thank you. Bring that back. Thank you. I can see uh, there is a line as the ball passes the bat and there's deviation of the ball. I'm going to get Kim to change your original decision to not out. I'll let you know when you're on screen. You're on screen signal now. India will want to get the boundaries flowing again, and it may come from Jamima Rodriguez. What a wonderful stroke from Harman Preet Court. That's a favourite area. Can't get it too straight to Harman Preet Court. She will launch it out to the leg side. Any opportunity you give her, India on the charge. Look at her movement. Got closer to the ball by moving to that off stump. With that connection. In the air, Boucher is a good fielder. What a catch. That is a huge moment in the semi-final. It's a big wicket for England. And picked out that square fielder. Harman Preet goes for 20, India 106 for three. Beautiful. Jamima Rodriguez knows that the wicket of Harman Preet Court is huge at this stage, so she needs to take control. Nicely played. Takes a bit of guts to play that. 
but she's played it well. Again, two in a row. The thing about this shot is she doesn't give it away very early. She gets into position so late for it. It's another teaser. It's going down. speed wonderful superb connection from Jamina Rodriguez what a way to start this over it'll happen at this stage because the batters are looking to swing it's a full toss that gets dispatched one and over for India 14 from it Jamima Rodriguez is playing a gem of an innings yet. She's not scared to take a risk. 150 up. Skyed. Jones wants it. Brunt says, no, it's mine. Oh, run out opportunities that wasn't taken. And this time around, she calls. She says, it's mine. Nonetheless, Deepthi Sharma goes for 22. India 159 for four. Really digging it in. Just not a bad option at this stage. Rodriguez again wants the strike. It's definitely worth that extra run. Bales light up. There, I'm satisfied there. The batter is short of their ground. I'm ready to make my decision. Third umpire. Clear, Polisak confirms that's out. So they'll get just a single. She goes for naught, 160 for five. She thought about it a few times. She finally gets the right answer to the final ball from Catherine Brunt. She ends it with a boundary. And England will be chasing 165 for a place in the final. What a way to start. The timing is sweet. She loves it down the ground. Looking to take advantage of the free hit. And England kick off the innings with a couple of boundaries. Wow. She played that so late. She's just about taken that out of the keeper's gloves. That's where she's going to target, is straight. She's out of her crease, and she will target those straight boundaries. It's not the length to ball with this field. That is not bowling to the plan at all. Is she in front? Yes, she is. Dunkley has had her problems against can I play a sweet shot? It looks like a shot that she's not that comfortable with. Dunkley, she departs for 19, and England are 28 for one. That's her area. Loves it square. Beautiful from Danny White. She is devastating in the power play. Delicate, just closing the face and using the straight in line. 42 for one. Knowing the fine leg was up, she wanted to access that boundary. She's done it well to get off the mark. Perfectly threaded through. She's come a long way down. Alice Kepsey just turned and run. Have India done enough to get her wicket? She looks disappointed. Thank you. Ball is in hand. Just bring that back for me, please, Gavin, and freeze it when the bales light up. Yep, thank you there. There's nothing grounded behind the line. I'm ready to make my decision. 
third umpire has had a look. There's nothing grounded. It's out. India didn't realize it was out. Second wicket falls in the seventh over. England are 63 for two. Excellent use of the feet. It's really good from Natsava. Made up her mind very early as to how she was going to play this. This is a superb innings from Danny Wyatt. She tried it again, but it's an undoing. A poorly executed lap from Danny Wyatt has seen the end of her innings. So Danny Wyatt thinks that she's able to get it, but she has to go further around and she exposes all three stumps. She does get some bat on it, but only onto her off stump. A lot of runs out there that she's left on the pitch. She goes for 35. England now 81 for three. It's off. Nat Siver capitalising. Outside that off stump, it's a good scoring area for her. Shouts of catch it. I think it's over the top and safe. Boundary again early in the over. Another one goes through. It's the boundary England needed. She set herself really early for the reverse and to good effect. The perfect placement from Amy Jones. Back to back boundaries, getting England back on track. Run out charts. Amy Jones is gone. And this stand is broken. Jubilation for India. Oh, that's what that ball pressure does. Trying to get Natsiva on strike. Also trying to get some runs as well. Amy Jones scores for 31. England 135 for four. Throw a ball. He gets to the next side. This is what England need. That gets the crowd to their feet. Well, this is hammered and from Natsiva. They'll need a big over here. No, it's full. This should be full. England needed the big over. This is the one for them. They're absolutely nice the urgency and the importance of this over. They're coming back for the second. Break the keepers in. It's a good throw. And it's Nat Siver who has her face in the dirt. Yep, thank you. Batter there is short of the ground. There, thank you. I'm ready to make my decision. But could that be the decisive wicket for India? And England lose Siver for 41. It's 151 for five. To get to full task. Can't miss it. Huge step towards the gold medal match. It's in their team, they know that they need wickets, they need to keep pressure on. Just look at what it means to Harman Preetko. Tells her nerve, took the catch, knows there's a big wicket. Her team's bench, and Catherine Brunt on the other hand, has to go without scoring. England 152 for six. Last ball of this semi final. Now to catch it again. It'll be a six, but it's not enough for England. And Harlem Precourt India are into the gold medal match at the Commonwealth Games. They will have a tilt for glory and a victory by.